Welcome to Cooking with Oi Oi Soy Boy. It's me, I'm Oi Oi Soy Boy. You can call me Callum as well if you'd like. Um, I don't know what episode this is anymore, but we're going to be making banh mi's. Banh mi's are a Vietnamese sandwich. They're pretty good. I'm, I like them. I eat them a lot. I eat them. They've got the baguette, the, so they got the bread portion. they got the tofu, so they got the tofu portion. It's good. But, yeah. With that being said, let's get cooking. All right, so first things first, we're gonna start with the courgettes or the zucchinis. So you get the courgette or the zucchini, and then what you're gonna do is julienne it. So to julienne, you basically cut it into lots of little strips, lots of thin strips. So as an example, I've cut off one thin bit and I'm just gonna chomp it long ways. See that? Lots of long, thin strips. Chop them all, that's a lot of julienne. We're going to be doing the exact same thing again with the carrots. So get the carrots, cut them into strips, and add them to the bowl with your julienne bowl. Get ready for tofu. Oh yeah. Open up the tofu. If you're using a wetter tofu, I'd recommend draining it. But as you can see, this boy is actually quite a firm one. There's not a lot of liquid in the packet. So I'm going to go straight to chomping. Now this is my little trick for dicing tofu. Cut downwards to about a centimeter or half a centimeter from the bottom in, in lots of different lines. So you'll see what I mean now. So just there's one, one little bit and then I've done a few more and you can see it's almost like fanned out but still attached to the bottom. Twist it to one side and then just do the exact same thing again. Now we got all these little long squares. Pop it on the last side and check this out. Chomp down once, that's a thousand cubes of tofu ready. Great. Keep doing that until you got a uh, 10,000 cubes of tofu ready and then pop them in a bowl to one side. Now, and if you're like me and you hate peeling garlic, just smash it to bits with your hand. So get your garlic clove and this is how you're gonna get all the skin off. Get the, the heel of your hand and then just press and smash it up. Just, yeah, keep pressing Callum, press harder. Yeah, great. See, now it's all mush, but the skin just peels right off. So do that with all your four or five cloves of garlic and then we're going to be good to chomp and just again we're going to dice it small but not particularly accurate like until we got all the pieces and we're just going to add them to our tofu bowl. Grab yourself your spring onion. Um, you can julienne this or you can just chomp in thin slithers long ways like so and then you're going to grab some mint. So go out onto the balcony. Um, okay, admire the view. Oh, what a lovely day. That's a crimpmas tree, you don't eat that. That's some lavender, you don't eat that. Oh, there's the mint. So grab the mint, and you're gonna pluck a little bit. It's just for garn garnish. So, ah, Maisie, get out of here. It's just for garnish. So then you're just gonna bring in a small amount, uh, close the door behind you, of course, and then you're just gonna pluck the mint a little bit. Now, obviously, you're not gonna want big leaves of mint in your mouth, so chomp it up a little bit smaller. You can dice it. Pretty rough like, no need to be perfect none. Like you can see, I'm just chomping and chipping and chomping over again. And then just adding it to the spring onions. All right, so grab yourself some cider vinegar or some white wine vinegar and pour it in your pan and add a bit of brown sugar. We're gonna have this on a pretty low heat, um, just sort of to warm up the sugar and mix it all together. Uh, once you got the sugar added, grab yourself some salt as well and just a pinch of that maybe, so about 100 ml of the vinegar, maybe three tablespoons of sugar, and then a little bit of salt. Put it on the heat and mix it up. What we're actually gonna be doing here today is kind of flash pickling all that veg that we zoom in the end. So once your sugar has all dissolved, the salt's all dissolved, and it's all nice and hot, then we're gonna be ready to add the veg. Pour it on in, and then we're just gonna quite simply stir it around. Make sure it's all covered. Again, real low heat, two, two out of 10, three out of 10. But just make sure your julienne food is all covered and then put a lid on. So whilst that all pickles a little bit, then we're gonna add some sesame oil to your pan, or you can use peanut oil as well, and throw in them, them 10,000 cubes of toast. Get yourself some soy sauce, dark or light is good, and just only leave a little bit of drizzle on top. Okay, you can see it's frying up nice and good, tossed around a bit, that cover them cubes in soy sauce. Then a touch of Chinese five spice powder um, is also good. And then I personally like some chili as well. Uh, give it a bit of kick and then just stir it around. 
with this, because the cubes are very small, they're going to cook quickly and the steam's going to go out quickly. So leave them on the heat. Take your pickled veg. Look how soft and sloppy it all is now. And add it to a baguette. Okay, great. Take your cooked tofu as well. Get a spoonful of that and put it in the, the baguette as well. In all honesty, this is very difficult to do with one hand, so I appreciate your patience and understanding here. That's all done. Grab yourself some spring onions. Um, grab yourself some mint and put that on top as a garnish. And also the mint's great. And finally, some vegan mayo. Drizzle all over until it's all covered. And then you've got yourself a complete ban me. No, I couldn't believe how easy it was either. For reference, here's a photo of the banh mi, but a second one I made that looks a lot better. Alright, enjoy. Best of luck cooking.